Right, Isaac, what day are we on today? 20. Number 20 on the calendar. Can you find it? Yeah. While you're looking, I'm going to say hello, boys and girls. Hello, children. Welcome to Sunday School Online. Today, we are going to make a really cool craft. Have you found number 20, Isaac? Yeah, well, I'm opening this shop here. Yeah. Brilliant. Can you get it out? Yeah. Can you believe there are only four sleeps until Christmas? I'm so excited. Let me push it out for you, see which chocolate it is. It's what is it? I think that's a little snowman. Do you want to eat it? Excuse I'll eat it, I'll save it for later. Yeah. Brilliant, right, have you opened number 20 on your calendars? I hope so. If not, you can do that after. Now today, we are gonna make a really cool craft. And me and Isaac made some earlier to show you. So this is what we made. Isaac, do you want to show them? So this is what, what I made. Twinkly stars, brilliant. I made a teddy bear. And I made a lovely purple heart. <laughs> okay, and I also made a gingerbread man. I made this. Christmas tree. So we are going to make these. These are amazing Christmas decorations and they're really fun and easy to make. So that is what we're going to make today together. So what you need to make them is some salt, some flour and some warm water. And also you need some equipment, some things to help you. So you need some cutters like Isaac's showing you, there's a teddy bear cutter, a bowl, a cup, or there's a Christmas tree cup, uh, cutter, a wooden spoon, a rolling pin, yep. and also what might be useful is a straw, I'll tell you why later. Yep. Now these Christmas... Oh, and the tiny pen. Yeah, the tiny pen. Now these Christmas decorations you can't eat. Even though like we're kind of making them and mixing and we're even cooking them, they're not to eat. They're to put on your Christmas tree to look lovely and pretty at Christmas. So let's go Isaac. To begin with, we need one and a half cups of flour. One and a half. One and a half. So I'll pour the flour in. And put that into the bowl. Yep. It's a little bit messy this, but that's fun, isn't it? We don't mind getting a little bit messy, yeah. do we Isaac? A half. Then we need half a cup of salt. Half a cup of salt. Yeah. I love pouring salt. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's like sugar. Sugar. <laughs> or it's like a waterfall. Or Ooh. like it's snowing. I wonder if it's going to snow this Christmas. What do you think, Isaac? No. No. <laughs> I hope so. Right, so let's give it a squeeze to get a bit more out. Squeeze! Pop that in. Ah, so next we need... Half of... No, yeah. yeah, half of... Half of warm water, and it works much better if it's warm water. Brilliant. Pop that in. Yeah. So you put all the ingredients in the bowl together, and to begin with, you mix them with a wooden spoon. So you keep mixing and mixing and mixing, until it all comes together to be a big blob and until it's too hard and stiff to mix anymore. Have you got to that point, Isaac? Yeah. yeah? So now let your grown up do a little bit more mixing and then you're going to get all the mixture, you're going to put it onto the table and you're going to knead it and mould it and squish it together with your hands. So roll your sleeves up. Let's do this, Isaac. Yep. Look at that. Right, eyes is going to start squishing it together. Now, if the mixture is a little bit too sticky, you add some more... If it's too sticky, you add some more flour. Well, and if it's too dry, then you add some more... Mum, it's too wet. It's too wet. We need some more flour, don't we? Oh. So, if it's too... It's... Ours is too sticky, so we need some more flour. No, if... it's... Too wet. Oh, too wet. That's kind of the same thing, wet and sticky. If yours is too dry, you can add some more water. And it's also good to get some flour on your hands and on the table to stop the mixture sticking everywhere. You might look a bit like a snowman, but that's okay, isn't it? Right, so squish the mixture until it's in one big ball together. 
brilliant. So you mould it and you knead it and you squish it and you get the flour all over your mum. <laughs> now, once you've done that, yeah. you are going to roll it out. So Isaac, can you grab the rolling pin? Yeah. So we're going to get a bit of flour on the table like this and we're going to roll it out nice and flat. Now, if you haven't got a rolling pin, don't worry. You can just kind of squish it down flat with your hands. Can you give it a roll for me, Isaac? Yep. Yeah. Now, we want it to be about one centimetre thick. So not too thick, otherwise it will take ages to cook, but not too thin, otherwise it will go all floppy and it might break. Isaac's doing a great job there, rolling. Take these sleeves up so we don't get too covered in flour. So once you've rolled it to a nice thickness, you can start cutting your shapes out. Now, if you've got some cutters, that would be brilliant. If you haven't, you can make your own shapes using your imagination um, and using your hands and maybe a little table knife that you've got that you can cut out some shapes. You can make a sausage. There's a sausage. <laughs> now, what uh, cutter are you going to use first, Isaac? I think a reindeer. A reindeer, great choice. Nice and Christmassy. So don't cut it right in the middle because that will waste the dough, but put it at the edge of your dough that's been rolled out so you can make the most of the dough that you've got. Push it down until you can't push it any further. Give it a wiggle, 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 and then push the shape out. Now, if you need a bit of help from your grain up, that's totally fine. Isaac, do you need a bit of help? Yeah? There we are, I'm gonna push this shape out. What shape are you going to do next, Isaac? A star. A star. No, I mean Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Good choice. Always going to roll a bit more. Once you've done each shape, just put it to the side. He's going to go for a Christmas tree. I'm going to cut out a star shape. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Push it out. Little star. Yeah. No, your one is a table. Teddy bear. Well, I could put right in the middle. Right in the middle. Be because it's your stone. The one there, yeah, it is the last one. Yeah. If you've got dough left over, you can roll it into the into a ball, wrap it in cling film, and keep it in the fridge to make some more Christmas decorations at another Just time. Like we have some more. We do. I'm going to put that to the side, and we can use that later. Brilliant. Right, now this is a really important thing. To make sure that we can hang up our Christmas decorations, we need to put a hole in them so that we can put some string or ribbon through. So what could we use to make a hole in our Christmas decorations? A pen and a straw. A pen or a straw. So, sit down so they can see you eyes. So we're going to go and put a hole in the top of our teddy bear using the straw. Push the straw down. And look at that. There we are, put that to the side. And you're using the pen to make a hole in the Christmas tree because that's a bit smaller, so it needs a small hole. Brilliant. Yes. Then you're going to do the star with a straw. Yep. There we are, there's a Christmas tree. I don't know if you can see it with a little hole. Mm -hmm. Oh, the reindeer looks like a little flip over. There we are, so make sure all your shapes have got little holes in. Now, the next thing we're going to do with our shapes is. Cook them. Cook them. Now, you've got two options. You can cook them in a proper big oven. And if you're going to do that, you need to put them on some greaseproof paper on a tray in the oven on the lowest setting for about two to three hours. And you need to make sure your grown up does this because ovens can get very, very hot. Very, very hot. Or if you want to do them and cook them really quick, you can use a microwave. And that's what we're going to do, isn't it, Isaac? Yep, yeah, so it's really quick. Really quick. So we're going to use a microwavable plate and we're going to um, cook just one shape at a time. So what should we cook first, Isaac? Maybe a Christmas tree, what I do. Christmas tree. So grab the Christmas tree, pop it on the plate. All right. On the plate here, babes. Oh. Good boy. And then we're going to put it into the microwave. The grown-up's going to do this. So we're going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other. So can you press that at the start button, Isaac? Brilliant. Now, when it's in the microwave, these shapes will get really hot and so will the plate. So it's important that your grown-up takes them out, 
and it uses an other glove. I've got another glove here. Right, now I can hear the, the beep. So it's done 30 seconds one side. I'm going to use my oven glove. Make sure your um, grown up helps you with this. It's feeling nice and hard, so I'm going to turn it over and do 30 seconds on the other side. Once these shapes are cooked, and it takes a little while if you do one at a time, you can do more than one, um, but sometimes I find it's better just to do one at a time. But once they're cooked, you need to put them to the side, let them cool down so they're not hot at all, and then you can paint them. I love painting things. I'm painting all sorts of lovely, bright, beautiful colours. Yeah? yeah? How many seconds left? Three, two, two one. There we are. So, I let your grain up take them out using an oven glove. And this Christmas tree is lovely and cooked now. So we're gonna let it cool down and we're gonna come back and paint them with you. Now it's time to paint our star. So what colour are we going to paint it, Isaac? Yellow. Yellow, go for it. Now, if you haven't got paint in the house, you can use pen or crayon, but paint works really well because it's nice and thick, so it shows up really nice and bright. And also, if you want, you can add a bit of glitter, maybe glitter glue, or while the paint's still wet, you could add some normal glitter, and when it dries, it should stick on. Isaac's adding some glitter. What colour glitter have you got? Isaac? Wet. Wow, that is a very sparkly, twinkly star. <laughs> Show the children. <laughs> That's brilliant. Now, the last thing to do is to get some string or some ribbon, sit down, darling, yeah. and to thread it through the hole so that you can hang your Christmas decoration. Or if you haven't got string or ribbon, you can use one of the old masks that your parents might have finished with and pull the string off and you can use that. Now it's a good idea to wait until your paint has dried but we're just going to do it straight away which which means we are going to get a bit of painting glitter on our hands but that's okay. So we've threaded the string through, tied a little knot. Isaac's got a glittery finger. Can you hold that up Isaac to show yeah, all the children? With your glittery finger I'm just going to hang it on Isaac's Christmas finger, look at that Christmas decoration. Ooh. You can hang it on your Christmas tree, on your door handle, on your glittery Christmas finger, and it looks awesome. So I hope you have so much fun making this craft. Sit down, Isaac. And we hope that you have an amazing and a really happy Christmas. And remember that God loves you so much. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.